Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the final edition of MUVM Architecture as a part of Android App Architecture series. In the previous video, we basically understood common view model which could be shared across multiple screens. We implemented the various functionalities that we wanted to have in our application through this common view model. And of course, in view model, we have used the mutable live data. And before that, we have also seen how the repository itself is implemented and we have backed up our repository with a simple SQLite database and that is another part of our whole puzzle that we have in this MUVM architecture. Now the remaining part of the puzzle in this MUVM architecture is view and what is this view? To put it simply it is either a activity or a fragment that will be interacting with your view model and of course to do that it will be using a observer design pattern and to do that once again we will rely on the live data and the lifecycle owner concepts that we have already covered in the earlier part of our MUVM series and that is the third piece of the overall puzzle that we are basically trying to connect together. So if you look at it, we basically have a model here which is implemented through repository and then we have a view and then we have view model. So that is how model view view model that is MVVM architecture finally comes together. And I think now it is time to get into a demo to actually see and implement view code so that we can understand how it works with view model. So let's get into a demo. It's the same old code base. Now in the repository package we have the repository interface and the class which implements that repository interface and in the view model we have the view model interface and a class that implements that view model interface and in the view package we finally have the activities that is main activity and the data manipulation activity that we have seen before as well. Now the only difference is we will have to use the common view to get our job done. So let's go back to main activity. So let me create private instance of common view model and let me call it as view model and this needs to be instantiated and that is simply view model is equal to view model providers dot off this activity and then get the class which implements view model so that is common view model implementer dot class this is something that you should have been already familiar because i have shown you how to do this so now we have a view model and our view model also implements the lifecycle observer so to make sure that it works perfectly we have to attach our view model to the lifecycle owner. In this case, our activity is the lifecycle owner. So I will write get lifecycle and then add observer. And in this case, our observer is view model. And then finally, we have to observe the changes from the view model in this particular view. So that is view model dot get to do list and then observe this comma new observer and whenever the to do list changes we have to set it so set new list and then to do's and if you want to understand what exactly is happening in the set to list it basically just initializes the adapter and recycler view and if any exception happens handles it as per the requirement so let me go back and another thing we forgot to do here we have to initialize the recycler view because when we do the set new list it will start working with the recycler view so before we do that we have to initialize the recycler view so it is same old drill of working with the recycler view here so let's go back so that is about to do list and then we have a, another important live data that is the error message so once again view model dot get error status and then once again we have to observe current that is this and new observer and then whenever any error message that we 
get here i want to simply toast that so i would be writing toast the next part is uh, what should happen when you click on the add to do button we invoke add new to do method here and here after some initial validation if everything is fine we have to actually go ahead and add the values and also another part that we need to take care is whenever the activity gets destroyed we should not just hold on to view model so how to take care of that that is view model dot get to do list remove observer this and in the same way view model error status remove observers this i think it is yes here yeah so that is taken care and also we have to just deallocate the life cycle owner as well so remove observer view model so i think we are basically done with our implementation in our main activity where we are just simply showing our list view and we are also doing the add to do functionality now the remaining part is data manipulation activity what happens here is we need to get hold of the id and based on that id extract the to do item and show it in our screen so once again we have to get hold of the view model here so let me create a common view model and initialize it view model is equal to and then view model dot get to do here and pass the to do id here and then observe this comma new observer and whenever the to do value gets updated we have to just check if to do value is equal to null it is quite possible that it could be null because if you have removed something then you probably don't want to show anything i have a method here called as update view on remove which basically just clears all the edit text so that's what the whole idea else that means i have some value here i have a method called as show selected to do and just pass the argument and if you see here in the show selected to do i just render it now going back we have a, another case we need to take care if something goes wrong i think i can simply copy paste the content of this here for the error status only the difference is instead of main activity it is data manipulation activity and that should take care of it and of course there are other functionalities here that is remove and modify to do that inside on click listener of the remove button i have to write view model dot remove to do and pass the to do id and in the same way when the modify button gets clicked you have view model dot modify to do the to do id and whatever the new value that you might have entered in your edit text so it is edit text new to do dot get text dot to string and i think we are done more or less except probably you just want to remove the observers in the on destroy method of the activity so i can just once again go back to the on destroy method here and copy the content paste it here and we are basically done with our implementation for data manipulation activity so let me just run this and this is our emulator so right now initially the list is empty so let me enter a first to do item here let me add another item and when i select something here you can see that i am showing the to do item here and i can remove that and when i go back this gets updated with the new list and why it gets updated with the new list because in the main activity we have added a get life cycle and our view model common view model as a life cycle owner it has a method which gets invoked on the life cycle event on resume and if you actually go to the contents of how the refresh data is implemented it basically refreshes the list so that is why when i remove something the list 
actually gets updated in the previous activity and let me just add another item here and let me click on that and if I want to modify it let me say it as complete editing modify and go back it shows the value so of course what I suggest is you can put the breakpoints here and see how this is behaving you can even do the same thing with the view model implementer class and the repository implementer class and I actually suggest that you debug this particular application to understand how the flow works so with this it is basically a finale of MVVM architecture a simple MVVM architecture but there is still a scope for refining this that is something that I want to talk about in the next video so until then take care bye that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye